Hi students, welcome to CIS 126 Digital Design Fundamentals. Um, I'm your instructor, Christy Hughes. Um, this term is going to be 12 weeks long and we will be learning about uh, digital design fundamentals. Um, basically, I have a lot of the information written here is what I'm going to review here in this um, video overview. But I will also be available in my office hours at the central campus at JC between 12 o'clock and 2.30 p.m. on Tuesdays and Wednesdays between 10 and 2.30 p.m. by or by appointment. So um, just let me know if you have any questions or if you're struggling, um, send me a direct email. Um, that's the best way to get a hold of me and make sure that you have CIS 126 written in the um, subject matter. Here's my email address. Be sure you download and you review the syllabus um, so that you know um, exactly what to expect in this course. I have a tentative schedule also posted within the syllabus that might help um, those of you who like to plan. Also, each unit is broken down into um, sort of the, the objectives. It gives you an instructions. I will also have a video for every unit, and then you will have a textbook link. The textbook link brings you exactly to the textbook that's required for this course. Um, and you can tell that there are a lot of free and open resources here. Um, you are required to purchase the textbook, um, but this is an open and free resource as well for you. Okay, and um, so there'll be a lot of the same subject matters that we'll be focused on are broken down in the actual online unit as they are in the textbook. Um, the projects, however, are not exactly the same. Um, they are more, uh, they are separate and industry standard. Oops, Let's see if I can get back out, back into my JetNet page, there you go. So for this unit, um, unit one, I'd like to get you to know you all a lot better. And so I've provided obviously the instructions, um, the textbook link. There's some resources here, some great and inspirational graphic design videos, Milton Glaser, um, Stefan Sagmeister, some of you may have heard of him before. Um, some great stuff for you all if you're curious um, and want to be inspired. And then the overview is basically the quote unquote chapter for this unit. Um, it's a P in PDF version, so if you want to print it out and review it or if you just want to have it available and look over it. Um, we don't have a, a quiz for this unit. It's a shorter unit. And um, this unit also is, has some short little exercises for you to do and a forum and icebreaker. So um, everything will be revealed each and every um, Monday morning. And I know that this particular term, spring, summer, is um, beginning Wednesday, the 23rd of May. And um, so this will be revealed on Wednesday due Sunday. I'm going to be very lenient with regard to the submissions on this first week, um, this unit. If you need to submit the following Wednesday, that's fine. I want to give you all a week to complete your, your work. Um, but it's a lot less work this first week than it will be moving forward. So um, if you're just curious about um, how that will work, I am very flexible this very first week. Um, but I want to be wrapped up that 12th week on a Sunday night um, as much as possible so that grades can be submitted. So everything will be revealed Monday morning or prior to that, probably more like Saturday or Sunday. And then you'll have the, a full week to work on things and they will be due the following Sunday. So each Sunday by midnight, your projects are due and the following week will be revealed if you'd like to know the rhythm or the flow of the course. Um, so getting back to this first unit, unit one, um, I will reveal it. There'll be a video located in here kind of telling you exactly what to do here for this first unit, but I'm going to review it in this intro um, to the course as well. Um, be sure you read all of this. My office, if you want to see me face to face, is in Central Campus. Um, you can contact me. I'll get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Um, don't worry. Within 48 hours, you should hear from me. Um, no later than that. I do get students who within an hour, if I don't respond, they're like, where are you? Where are we? We are very used to getting responses very, very quickly. And um, 24, 48 hours is reasonable. 
um, in this case. So just if you need help, I'm here to help you. I want to see you succeed. And um, so each unit, the flow is there will be resources, in intro, instructions, textbook link, video, resources. These are usually the files you'll want to download um, or you need to review to be able to complete the work that is assigned. And that would be this overview. It's kind of like, like I said, that quote unquote chapter overview. It does follow what's in the textbook, but it also has its own flair, um, bringing in some industry standard um, content. Next, point line and plane. Um, this is an example, courtesy of one of our former students who broke down the first assignment, point line and plane, um, viewing some seasonal photographs and breaking them down into just point line and, and plane. That's your first unit exercise, um, which would be submitted here. Second unit exercise, um, I'm going to get into that more detail when I give you the video for this particular unit, but they are all found on unit one. Instructions. I have an overview of each of the exercises due. The first exercise, exercise um, point line and plane is worth 30 points. It requires you to look at any photographs of seasons and break them down into very abstract point lines and planes, which you see in um, Gloria's piece that I just showed you here as the example. She did that and submitted it. I believe it's winter, spring, summer. Okay, and then the, the second part and the second assignment focuses on framing. Find any photo, and these are two separate takes of that same photo, and look how it changes the narrative. You have one frame here um, of a person getting her hair done looking in the mirror, and then someone has zoomed in on that photo and cropped it and has changed it to maybe just somebody reflecting on something in the mirror on themselves or contemplating um, the day or something like that. So take any photo that you find inspirational, it can be from your own personal collection, um, or I provide so, uh, a lot of students some um, free stock photography website, Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S dot com, and then search for images and then go ahead from those images and give me the original and then change the narrative by cropping it. Okay, those are the two little exercises that are due for unit one, along with your icebreaker introduction. Go ahead and I will, um, I will begin and take the lead and introduce myself within this forum. But here is really my introduction. Hi everyone, um, nice to meet you and I hope to build a community with you this, um, this term. Let me know if you have any questions and look for that video specifically addressing this unit, even though I did so in the intro, um, I will have one each week just so you're used to um, the consistencies for each unit within the, the course online. Okay, good luck and let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next unit video.